These are my tools for making great PS2 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. So we got a really great PS2 tutorial today, and we're actually going to be revisiting the Codebreaker 10 using OPL and the USB method. So I have done a tutorial on this before. This tutorial is going to be a little bit different because we're going to address the black screen that I've been seeing over the years and a lot of comments about, hey, why am I using Codebreaker and I'm getting a black screen and how do I fix this? So this is what today's tutorial is all about. So what we're going to do is go into Ulaunch Elf. And before we address the black screen, if you want to get the Codebreaker and, this, and, the, and the OPL files, go to the video description. I have a link where you can download the zip package. Once you have that, unzip it and put it on your USB thumb drive or USB hard drive, as today's focus will be strictly the USB method. So I did that already. So on my mass drive, I have a thumb drive and I have what is called a boot folder. So if I go into the boot folder, I have these two ELF files, codebreaker.elf, codebreaker10.elf, excuse me, and then cb underscore launch.elf. So what you wanna do is run the ELF file, codebreaker10. Let's run that from the, from the USB thumb drive here. Um, you get better performance, you run off a of USB. Do not attempt to run it off um, your memory card. It's just gonna get stuck and it just won't work properly. So here we are, we waited about five seconds or so, black screen, right? So the trick is I'm gonna walk over to my PS2 and unplug the USB. Okay, so USB is unplugged. I'm walking over to my chair again. Go ahead, press start or X, one of the two, and eventually you'll get to here. And the USB is still unplugged. And what we're gonna do basically is wait for the main menu to show up, select your game, select your cheats, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll show you how this works. So what we're gonna do is go to select cheats. I already have a game selected, so let's say I'm gonna select a different game. Oops, so I have selected this game by accident, so I'm gonna press, this is a little bit confusing, the menu structure, so I'm gonna press left to get out of this menu. I'm gonna press R1, and I'm gonna go down to today's example game. If you guys are a follower of the channel, you know that I like to, <laughs> I uh, use Marvel vs. Capcom 2 as the test criteria. So here it is, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're gonna press the right D-pad. From here, we're gonna say enable code by pressing X, and then just some other cheats. Um, characters, new colors, gallery stages, and let's do infinite health, player one. So now we press start, and then you go here, and then you press start, actually X, and then you press X, and then it, it does this, and then it's going to a black screen. Plug your USB back in, and then it's going to go back to the ULaunch Elf, which is perfectly fine. So I want to press Circle, go back to my mass, go to my boot, cblaunch.elf, which is actually the latest OPL in disguise. I suppose if you're quick enough with plugging in your USB, you could technically have the PS2 automatically boot into this. I'm not that quick today, so this is a good alternative. If you're curious of how I got my USB to load, I'm gonna press start here, go to my settings. I have my USB device start mode set as auto, and then my default menu is USB. Okay, so back to games list circle, and I'm gonna press X on Marvel versus Capcom 2. I have not tried this yet on SMB. So if you guys know that this works in SMB, leave a comment on the YouTube page and I'll, I'll take a look at it and that might save me some time. And I'm testing a new way of capturing the PS2, so that's why we'll see some new stuff in today's video, which is pretty cool. Okay, so the game is loading, great. And once we get to the main menu, I'm gonna go to the secret menu. Actually, it's not called Secret Menu. I take that back. It's called the Secret Factor. So here we have, um, let me just lower the game audio just a tiny bit. So here we have the shop. Um, everything's sold out. We see that we have 9999 points. Awesome. Gallery, we got all this stuff, just like I expected. So let's go ahead and go to, let's say, arcade mode. And arcade mode, we see that all the characters are unlocked. So that saves me a lot of time from grinding, which is awesome. 
So let's say Gambit. Let's say, I don't know, Juggernaut. And let's say, Cat. So clearly the cheats I have selected for today's episode video is working. And the last cheat we're gonna verify is infinite health for player one. So is it gonna work? We'll soon find out. So War Machine, I'm taking damage and we see my health bar is not decreasing. And now's my turn to do some damage. So anyways, that is today's PS2 game related tutorial on how to address the black screen when you're doing OPL, Codebreaker 10, and the USB method. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.